Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to take a look at three of the most important rules with logarithms. Well, they are the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule. And they're used all the time in very many instances. So, the product rule says that if you take the log of a product, it is the same as the log of the first factor plus the log of the second factor. Another way of looking at it, taking the log of something converts a product onto a sum. Back in the days when they didn't have calculators, it was one of the means to make it easier to do arithmetic. So if you had a big product like this, you could then convert it into logarithms and an addition in such a way that it was easier to work with. But now we have more of a algebraic benefit from that so that we have certain kind of functions that we can then break down into simpler form to make it easier to calculate what we need to calculate. So again, if we take the log of a product, it is equal to the log of the first factor plus the log of the second factor. An example of that is right here, the log of 100 times 1,000. Well, it's equal to the log of 100 plus the log of 1,000. The log of 100 is 2, the log of 1,000 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5. And again, the log of 100,000, of course, we know that's 5 as well because there's 5 zeros right here. But at least it shows that it works. Now, the quotient rule. If we take the log of a quotient A divided by B, that is equal to the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. So again, it takes a division and turns it into a subtraction. Here's an example. The log of 10,000 divided by 100 is equal to the log of 10,000 minus the log of 100. The log of 10,000 is 4, the log of 100 is 2, 4 minus 2 is 2, or 10,000 divided by 100 is 100, the log of 100 is 2. But again, that's not really where we want to use it, it just illustrates the fact that it works. The third rule, the power rule, we have the log of a raised to the b power. Notice the b, which is an exponent, can be put in front and made into multiplication. So the log of a to the b power is equal to b times the log of a. So it turns a power into a product. Again, that's easier to work with. Let's say you had log of a to the 2.5 power. Well, without calculators, that was hard to do. But then you could simply go 2.5 times the log of a, which was a lot easier to work with. And here's an example. The log of 100 to the third power is equal to 3 times the log of 100. Well, the log of 100 is 2, so 3 times 2 is 6. And that's how simple those three rules are. It's a really good idea that you memorize these because you will use them. I promise. And that is how it's done. Do you want to show them how to get back the other way around? Oh, that comes later. Don't worry. Yeah, we're going to show you. Do you have the graph? The, um, the charts? No, you know something? I could work on that, but nobody uses those charts anymore. Yeah, that is so they're, they're neat, but nobody uses it anymore. Everybody uses the old trusted calculator. It's amazing that it actually works. It is true, but I don't think it's worth the effort anymore because nobody uses those anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right.